I am back with another first impression for my anti-aging foundation series. This time I am going to be doing Maybelline again, but I'm going to be trying one of their foundations that was specifically designed for anti-aging. This one is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. It comes with this applicator tip that I know a lot of people are not loving. Now, their website does say that the applicator tip is antimicrobial, which is good, but I'm one of those people that uses a wash rag and a towel one time when I wash my face and then it goes into the laundry hamper. I don't like things getting on my skin at all. Gross. So I'm not sure how I'm feeling about that tip, my antimicrobial or not. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. What it says is that it is a treatment makeup, the super concentrated formula with goji berry hydrates the skin while the exclusive applicator covers, fills, and smooths to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So, sounds pretty good. It's got SPF, broad spectrum, sunscreen of 18, so SPF 18, which of course, I'm all about that life. You just have to be careful when you're dealing with SPF because that's what causes flashback. I prefer foundation with an SPF, even if it washes me out in photos. I figure I'd rather have a whiter face in photos than skin cancer all over my face later. So, you know, to each his or her own. Their website says seven years of research and three patents combine this anti-aging treatment makeup. This micro-correcting foundation features goji berry, collagen, and an exclusive applicator, which, as you already know, I'm... Easily apply the foundation to cover dark circles, fine lines, and age spots. Hmm. Let's see how this does. Okay, so you just twist. Am I going in the right direction? I am. Twist until the foundation pops out. Ooh, I think we're getting somewhere. I'm using 120 Creamy Ivory. I think I probably need like 110, but I don't even know if that's an option. So I think how, see it's oozing out the top. I think how I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna like apply it on and then I'm actually gonna use my sponge to do it out for more than one reason. One, because it's what I'm comfortable with doing. I like I've never used this applicator before so I imagine it's not the end of the world to use it the first time. I probably will never use the applicator again after this but so for that reason. And then another reason is because with all the other ones, I was using the sponge and I really want to keep it like on an even keel so that all foundation is using the same stuff so that we get a realistic test, you know, how it's actually working out. I wash my face, I put on my primer, the same as always, a Stila One Step Correct primer. And I'm just going to apply it. Okay, let's let's see how this goes. Oh wow, that's thick. Cause I'm gonna do one half at a time because I'm just not this is really thick. 
and wow, that's really dark. The last one I did was Maybelline, but that was Fit Me, Matte and Poreless. The matte ended up working pretty well. Just didn't highlight anything I didn't want highlighted. So that worked out really well. It was just really drying because I have dry skin. So I figured, I wonder how Maybelline anti-aging line would work. So far, so good. I'm just going to give it a second for the first layer to kind of set just a bit before I go in with the second. I want to see if it's buildable at all. So I'm just giving it a second before I go in with the second layer. Well, hopefully it won't oxygenate at all because it's too dark for me, but I, I think it'll, I think it'll be fine. I think I probably should have, they didn't have anything lower than a 120 when I was there, but think I would need something lower than a 120 or mix it with a lighter foundation if I use this again in the future. It is about a medium coverage foundation. The second layer didn't exactly do anything as far as building it up. It was like what I got with that first layer is pretty much the second layer didn't make a difference so and it's really really thick so you really wouldn't need to waste your time with the second layer unless you just went too light on your first coat but with how thick this is I'm not really sure how realistic that would even be it's 0.68 fluid ounces which is less than what you get in most foundations. Most foundations come in a one ounce pump. 
So keep that in mind when you're purchasing this, you're getting about just a little more than half of what you would normally get in a bottle of foundation. And I don't know if you can see, all of this on the outside of this sponge is just going to be wasted. It won't let me it won't let me suck it back up into the tube. So there's just nothing I'm going to there's just nothing I'm going to be able to do. So that is probably an entire face worth cuz that is a lot. Like it's on this side all the way around at least a good half of a face worth. So not only is it almost half of what you would normally get, but it's pretty wasteful. The, the applicator piece of this makes it pretty wasteful. But on the flip side of that, it's a pretty inexpensive foundation. I think I got it for either $4.99 or $5.99. And then CVS and Ulta are always having like buy one, get one half off sales for Maybelline. So that's a good thing. So price wise, you could probably get two of these tubes for about the price that you would get one fluid ounce tube of drugstore foundation. So that's a good thing. I guess I'm going to finish my face and then I will check back in because I will have done concealer and powder so I'll have a little bit more information to give you and then as my other videos I'll just check in um, every couple of hours or so and let you know how it's wearing throughout my day. So, give me a few minutes, or hour, whatever, and I'll, I'll be back. I was really hoping that this would kind of self-correct a little bit, but it's just, I don't know who I thought I was kidding, but it's just getting worse um, as the time goes on. From the moment that I put on my powder to set the foundation and my concealer and all that stuff, it's sort of caked up. It just doesn't seem to be getting any better. And then of course, as the time goes on, it's just gonna continue to get cakier and cakier and cakier. So. I'll zoom you in in a second so that you can see what it's doing, but it's basically doing what the first foundation did. It started settling into every single line in my face, and then you just, as the time goes on, you just look older and older and older and older. So now that I feel like I look like I'm about 95 years old, no offense grandma, not your 95, you look beautiful, but a normal 95 year old, uh, I'm ready to wash it off. So I think if you were if you were going to be wearing it because you were going to be Skyping with someone special or you were going to be wearing it because you were going to be doing anything from a distance, I think that it actually looks really beautiful. I was thinking it looked a lot better than it did until I turned on lights and got in close and then I was like, oh no. <laughs> Back to the drawing board. So I'm going to say no for this foundation. I don't think I'm going to throw it away. I think that there's a good chance that uh, I will actually wear this foundation again. I think just 
probably not in front of lights and in anything where I'm going to be super close with anybody. So I'm going to say I do not like this foundation as much as the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. <sighs> I wanted to like it. I had high hopes because their Fit Me line seemed to be so great. It's just not so... Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see what it's doing. I'm not even sure that I can zoom in enough. Can you see? Maybe? Yes? No? No, yes? I, I see in the mirror, I see all in here, I see in between my eyes here, my forehead, all in here and here is really cakey so no so I'm gonna go wash my face off now but don't be sad because there are still so so many foundations available on the market today and so many of them are aimed at helping with anti-aging. So this is just number three. There are plenty more. So I am excited to try the next one because I really feel like there's going to be something out there. There will be. And just because it doesn't look good on me doesn't mean it's not going to look good on you. It just means it doesn't look good on me. So. If there was something about this foundation that got your attention and you wanted to try it, let me know if you do try it, what you end up thinking about it in the comments section below. And if you've tried this foundation in the past and you had the same outcome or you had a different outcome or you had the same outcome and then you tried something different and then had a different outcome, let us know. Let us know in the comments section below so that I don't mind coming back to any of these foundations that I've been trying and trying something different with them. So absolutely um, comment below so that we can all learn and grow from each other. I think that that is one of the best things about YouTube is that it is designed to be a community based program so let's be a community we will commune below thank you for watching this video and like and subscribe and all those fun things follow me on snapchat Instagram Twitter Facebook all the above. Let me know what you think and I will talk to you again soon in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you next time. I love you. Bye guys.